If we build systems that know that they don't know what the objective is, then they start to exhibit these behaviors, like asking permission before getting rid of all the oxygen in the atmosphere. In all these senses, control over the AI system comes from the machine's uncertainty about what the true objective is. And it's, it's when you build machines that believe with certainty that they have the objective, that's when you get the sort of psychopathic behavior. And I think we see the same thing in humans. What happens when general purpose AI hits the real economy? How do things change? Can we adapt? You know, this is a very old point. Amazingly, Aristotle actually has a passage where he says, look, if we had fully automated weaving machines and plectrums that could pluck the lyre and produce music without any humans, then we wouldn't need any workers. That idea, which I think it was Keynes who called it technological unemployment in 1930, is very obvious to people, right? They think, yeah, of course, if the machine does the work, then I'm going to be unemployed. If you think about the warehouses that companies are currently operating for e-commerce, they are half automated. The way it works is that on old warehouses where you've got tons of stuff piled up all over the place and humans go and rummage around and then bring it back and send it off, there's a robot who goes and gets the shelving unit that contains the thing that you need. But the human has to pick the object out of the bin or the off the shelf because that's still too difficult. But, you know, at the same time, could you make a robot that is accurate enough to be able to pick pretty much any object? And there's a very wide variety of objects that you can buy. And that would, at a stroke, eliminate three or four million jobs.